Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. How are you all doing today? Good oh, great. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from very well you're watching my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you, or let me say, I'm going to be guiding you on how to make a customized branded bidet stitch. Please, if you got value in this tutorial, make sure to like my video, subscribe to my channel, press the notification bell so as to always get notified each time i upload a new tutorial on this channel also please don't forget to like my video and share it so that youtube will get to know that i upload valuable content on this channel and helps distribute it to a wider audience let's go right into the tutorial Create letter templates on the cardboard. Fuse ST to the wrong side of the part you want to bid on your vest. Transfer your templates to your vest. Thread your needle and let's start bidding. I use as you can see, I already transferred my lettering templates on my vest. Here now I have thread my needle. So I'm going to pinch right to at the needle right to start my securing knot. I'm, using that I'm starting because right I there because I know that my beads are going to lay on it and they are Having going to hide that, my stitches I'm going to right my there. Needle to this you can start piece. yours from the back. Right now, I'm going to insert my needle to my, bead my pencil starts. line and start beading from there. Then I'll be selecting my bead based right on now, the Right now, I'm going to pick the, the number of beads that three beads. we contain or that the space we contain. So it, Here, your I picked opening two beads. Or the whole of your bead should three start beads from where, start the thread, where you, you pass the thread I'm going to lay it okay. on it to, to see that that exact space is going to accommodate back. my bead without curving out. The back. Pass your needle here now again. pass it from the back again the back. And, and feed your back. bead with another your needle with another bead. Needle with bits again. Two bits. Lay it. Lay it on the then insert your needle right where the right bit where ends on the line. I'm ends. using the line of my letter then as a guide for choosing the number of bits. Insert it there again very close to it pass out your needle from the wrong needle side to so the outside of the vest four, four, pick another set of beads then repeat the get same to, process to a wider place that the four beads will be too small for so you have to increase it to the increase the number of here beads i picked four beads because beads the line of the lettering two. Is getting wider the number of beads you choose to pick depends on the shape of your lettering so pass it up from the I'm using four beads so when I get to this place I'm going to show you how to I'm going to repeat the, repeat the same process when I get to a more wider place than this, I'm going to pick more bits that will contain the line or the space. Take note of the lettering, alphabet or lettering. You see that the beading is following the curve, the curved direction of the lettering. Then I want you to take note of something. You look at this letter now at some point more from this there side may be than from there this may side. be shortage in some I places or I, what i mean is that some places may be wider so than the other edge all you have to do to is run. just to follow you give more space at the wider to place to than you will pick at the narrow place i don't know if what I'm saying makes sense to you, but please watch so that you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay. 
here because I have a narrow space there I picked two beads to fill up that space what we are doing is just filling up the space we have or the space we have created with our templates with beads the color of your thread should match the color of your beads okay I'm going to lay it flat this way. I'm going to lay it flat and you see still the end of the bead. I'm going to put it right here. Just follow the same procedure and watch what I'm doing in the video, you will Please understand it better. Close to it. A it's a repeated a process. Once yeah. you get the logic, you find it is the number of bits that will, that will contain it. That will contain it from here to here. Pick your bits and measure the space. The size of bead you use depends on how wide or how your alphabet is being transferred. I'm going to pass my needle very close to the last one where the last bit ends. That is so where we are going to together. There won't be space between the your needle. It will. So I'm going to continue feeding or filling the space with five beads until right I here, get I'm to a narrower five beads. I've increased my beads to five. From here now, I yours want may it be, to be more and yours may be less. Narrow or poor. So at the end of tail, should I call it tail or head of the letter? Tail, I get my lettering is the getting the narrow. Top so I'm reducing the bit again. It depends it on the shape you give your letter. Just follow the shape you give your letter to bead is. So right here, I use four beads to complete, to fill in that space. I'm going to do that, continue doing that, and when I get to the edge of the letter, I'm going to show you how to close it up. Enjoy watching. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to do that. Regular in shape, press the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new tutorial. So we're almost done. Also, don't forget to like my videos if you find it helpful because liking it helps the YouTube algorithm to know that my co content is valuable and helps to distribute it to a wider audience. Stitch one more to it. Complete it. Okay, the last one at the top is going to be two bits because three cannot contain that. So I'm just going to close that little bit. Two bits. Two bits. To wrap it up, here we go. So here I'm going to end it here. Peace. Now. It's time to secure Place our knot. Your ending knot. Pinch again. Make sure that you, you, you pinch it in such a way that your thread is not showing pinch on the right pinch. side of the fabric. Yeah. Now that my now thread, my knot, so or my bead is well Pass secured, the loop like this. I'm going to hide my tail after this. I always not. like to hide the tail of my thread. I don't like to cut it so that it won't be showing. You can cut it, but in order to, to further 
of secure my beat and to make the wrong side of the fabric meet I like to pull it this way then you can just hide the thing and this is what we have lanchu moke kuchan thank you very much for staying tuned to the end of this video if you find it interesting please like share comment subscribe to my channel it's absolutely free then don't forget to press the notification bell so as to always get notified each time i upload a new content on this channel goodbye till i see you again